I mean, we're seeing the marketing everywhere, man, with the uh, Bitcoin ETF, Grayscale. Um, just put out more marketing here for the Bitcoin ETF. And I think a lot of people just need to chill out and understand that phase two is about accumulating. When you have an explosive uh, phase one like we had, you know, crypto can't go up forever. I think we needed the... Um, uh, what's this the uh fan greed index to to come down uh make sure that you guys like and subscribe hit that notification bell and um that's good because it's giving a lot of people on the sidelines a fair opportunity to get in cryptocurrency in today's video i just want to talk about narratives kind of ease you guys mind and also talk about a chain that i feel like has explosive potential so stick around towards the end of the video at some point today we'll be doing a live stream i got a story to tell y'all uh, what happened <laughs> Oh man, it's um being being de developing things, man. This has been a a new journey and learning experience, but I can't wait to share with you guys some of the things that I've been learning in the entire cryptocurrency space. So leave a comment, all right? Fear and greed index here at fifty seven. Um, I think that we need to start paying attention to the top narratives, right? Whenever you see a correction in crypto, and I believe the cor correction may be in, and as you start to see some of these cryptocurrencies literally um take the next leg up. But artificial intelligence led the way. Um, Gamify, you know, those are my two favorite narratives in crypto right now. Meme coins, Solana ecosystem, that's been getting a lot of love. And also BRC20, which we've talked about uh, being investors in the BRC20 infrastructure plays. So I've talked about many plays that kind of fit the bill. But any one of these um, these narratives can pop at any time. In fact, I'm constantly utilizing cryptocurrency projects in the deep end narratives. As you can see right here at the bottom of my screen, we got um, Gamer Hash, and we're just mining some USD. Um, I should change this to Bitcoin. I said that before. We're just mining some USD. You're not going to get rich off this stuff, but it gives you an opportunity to earn a passive income. And there's other projects that you can utilize their apps. They got Noddle. They have... Uh, um, What's another one? Uh, Hive Mapper. There's deep in projects that will allow you to utilize their their ecosystems and utilize their apps to earn a passive income. So um, as we get more adoption, um, more institutional adoption, you got to have a conversation that, you know, will this continue to be the Wild Wild West? Because honestly, family, it's 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 a it's very, very scammy in the cryptocurrency space. Why do why am I saying that? Because as I uh, meet developers and use different platforms like I'll tell you guys, like, I was working on something yesterday, right? And the stuff that these developers can actually do really changed my mindset on cryptocurrency and is why I feel like this may be the last great bull run. You got developers literally out there putting back doors, right? Putting back doors. <laughs> literally putting back doors in a contract so you know you get a contract created you might think like oh this contract is getting created um it's a one one click contract and you're not going to check these contracts right and you just think like oh i can use this website and create a cryptocurrency coin little do you know the developers of these websites they're adding back doors in hidden wallets in your contracts to literally drain liquidity so even on some of these cryptocurrency projects like solana it necessarily doesn't be the people that create the coins that actually rug pull it's the developers that's adding right adding these hidden wallets these hidden wallet drainers right that can drain liquidity that's why i tell everybody like if you're going to develop your own coin try to learn coding you, it, you can pay somebody to do it but you don't you, you don't know what you're gonna get i'm gonna be completely honest with you these guys are not your friend man it's they are scammers in crypto and it's just a bad it, it really pissed me off it, it, you know what i mean the, the things that these developers can do they try to get on get over on people that's that's putting in hard earned money man and it's really not fair to the average retail or the new developer that wants to come in and has all these great ideas and wants to put a, uh, together a good project and you got these 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 idiots right and that's and I really mean it these idiots that put back doors in these contracts and you know make it you know make it and, and and now I understand when you see a lot of these Solana coins and I'm not to get off the the, the track here but it just pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? The, the stuff that I'm seeing inside the cryptocurrency space. But, hey, that's neither here and there. You got to be safe. We are seeing meme AI do pretty well. I'm 93% on the day. Manta Network. So, you're starting to see a little bit of green across the market. We can go at the uh, top 
top 100s on the crypto bubbles and also start to see a little bit of that green across the market that you love to see doge up 10 percent on the day off the news that elon musk plans on turning twitter into a uh a payment hub so you're starting a lot of people are speculating that doge could be the one actually i want to check out elon and see if elon is pumping here too um there's so much things going on in cryptocurrency i hate making videos about one specific project i know i used to do that but it's just like now i'm to the point where it's just so much going in cryptocurrency you can't just focus on oh well, on one project but well, not much right here on the, the elon news but again elon musk doge payments actually let's see if uh, we got some type of news we can pull up i'm not gonna pull up but again Elon Musk uh, is turning crypto into um, a payment hub, and he, we don't know if he's using he's using Doge. Let's let's be clear, okay? Uh, he could be using, you know, create his own coin. We don't know, but it's good to know that you know he is pro crypto currency. All right, so moving on along, we talked about the narratives, uh, privacy, rural assets, AI, DPIN, right? Gamify, meme coins. Meme coin season is, is something serious, man. You know what I'm saying? You could just go on and, and make some meme coins extremely quick. Uh, <laughs> and make some money in meme coins are extremely quick, too, you know, if you buy the right one. So, but you got you to gotta be careful out here in this space, man. You have to be careful out here in this space. And this space is not made... Uh, for for people that's new you got to actually do your research and, and lose money in crypto i think you have to lose money in crypto because what it teaches you is that it's important to do your research what i've noticed is whenever i do something in cryptocurrency and i just jump in head first just thinking i know what i'm doing i lose money i lose money guys do your research go over things multiple times get uh, um second opinions don't just dive into this crypto space and think that you know it all you will get wrecked but if you went through all this you are og you survived the bitcoin crash 69k to 15k luna went to zero 3ac from 18 billion to zero in <laughs> in fucking sane celsius avoid your bankrupt ftx ftt meltdown usdc to peg that was crazy right you know what i mean the silver bank and all that that was crazy we, we went through all that binance bank run cz stepping down sec suing everyone in a two-year bar uh, bear market you are an og now so salute to everybody um that that's been here through that that's still here and salute to all the new people if you're new in crypto let me know inside the comments um bitcoin becomes the second largest etf commodity in the u.s surpassing silver so this is how you know <laughs> this is how massive bitcoin and crypto could possibly be so Again, um, I want to talk about a chain that I am focused on, which is Telos, man. They're doing a lot of stuff with uh, uh, gaming. Um, they're doing a lot of stuff with uh, swaps. I think Hex Swaps is one of the um, the swaps that will be um, launched, if not already, were launched here on um, on Telos. And it's already faster than Solana. It has zero downtime, and they have one of the most bullish faces of crypto that just recently migrated from Polygon to now being the face yes the face of telos i personally feel like i got into telos at a very 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 good favorable price sitting here at um about 13 cent 12 13 cent when we got in um it's by far my biggest holding as far as chains this is the chain that i truly believe in this is the one that i feel like is going to be a, a bull run winner um and it's it's an og token but in you know in retrospective it's actually a new token because they had a lot of new things going went through an entire rebrand and you can see that the ecosystem um is thriving with developers man launch pads bridge wallets nfts DeFi, social block explorers gaming metaverse i mean it's just you know it's crazy right they're evm compatible and they're also omni chain so it just fits the bill for literally everything and i'm excited right to see um where telos can go i think that if you were looking for a chain and if you faded solano you wasn't part of the avax pump and all these pumps that happened in phase one of the bull run well you got a project here that has yet to really send but has the pumponomics has the foundations has the team right has the utility and use case right and if you look across crypto twitter they do have the hype so this project in my, in my opinion is bound right here it's um right here at some at resistance around 20 cent family you know from six cent to 20 cent we know that's probably like a three, three and a half x right um 
So salute to the people that got here down here. This is my pick. This is my pick for a chain um, to win in the um, peak of the bull run. So I just wanted to go over a few things with you that I'm seeing inside cryptocurrency. We'll work to do a stream a little bit uh, later. And um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about crypto. Um, are you bearish? Are you bullish? Um, are we back, right? Um, we're starting to pump again. Are we back? I want to know everybody's opinion. Um, and join the uh, Discord, right? Free Discord is decentralized and consider the Patreon. I will be doing some airdrop hunting today. We'll do airdrop hunting episode four at some time today, maybe three or four. We're on episode three or four. We'll do that at some time today. I know a lot of people are asking me to open up more slots on the GOAT because that thing fooled up. That thing, thing fooled up, man. Salute to everybody. But again, we, 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 we're... Um, since I'm full time Web three now, we'll 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 be doing a lot of changes, man. I just gotta put some things together in my head, in my brain, put it down on paper, um, develop a good plan, and um, really deliver some alpha and value for you guys. So, crypto update, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Crypto Millie. I'll see you the next one.